Howdy, with this video, I want to show you how to do uh, create Dropbox folders so students can submit their work in D2L. Uh, with the first video, we went over basic settings in D2L. The second video, we went over putting content into uh, the content page uh, with YouTube videos, uh, with a link, and of course, documents with files. But now we want to allow students to submit stuff into our, our course. So we're going to go to the assignments area. Uh, we call assignments the Dropbox folder because that's what it used to be called. Uh, they changed it like two years ago, but old people like me don't <laughs> don't change their vocabulary uh, as quickly enough, maybe as quickly as we should. Um, but you want to create a Dropbox folder. Uh, to do that, you hit New Submission Folder. Uh, you want to give it a title. Uh, so you have them do an introduction paragraph, and you want them to submit it in D2L. Uh, you have to go to restrictions. You have to. And unclick hide from users. Uh, otherwise, students will not be able to see the Dropbox folder you're creating. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you can turn on Turnitin, which is our plagiarism detector. Uh, and to do that, you need to get to the Turnitin, Turnitin integration. That's not easy to say. And you need to click enable grade mark for this folder. And then uh, you need to come down, and if you want the students to see the report, which I hope you do, uh, you want to go ahead and click that. Uh, we'll get fancy with that a little bit later. Uh, what you can also do is go to more options. Actually, I guess, guess we're going to get fancy right now. And uh, you can go to optional settings. If you're the 0870 instructor and you ask them to turn their drafts into you and you turn on Turnitin, uh, it's going to be submitted into Turnitin. And when the 1010 instructor gets the final version, it's going to come back plagiarized because uh, you've already submitted it uh, in your course. So to prevent that, you want to come here and just go to do not store the submitted papers. And the papers you submit will not get uh, stored within Turnitin. Uh, and again, if you're the 0870 instructor, that's what you want to do so the Comp 1 instructor doesn't get back 90% <laughs> uh, reports saying that it's plagiarized. And you want to hit Submit. Uh, but once you do that, you're pretty much ready to uh, save the Dropbox folder. And there it is. Um, this little binoculars with the paper shows you got turned it in, turned on. I don't know why you would do that for an introduction paragraph, but I just wanted to show it to you. Just for funsies, I want to show you what happens if you don't click that uh, let user see button there, or unclick it, I guess. Um, if you see this little eyeball with the arrow through it, that means students cannot see that Dropbox folder. Um, so if you get an email from students say, saying, hey, there's no folder to put that, that assignment in, and you know you've created the folder, that might be the problem. And to fix that, you just have to go down to this arrow, edit the submission folder, go over to restrictions, and unclick that hide from users, and hit save and close, and it should. Get rid of that little icon and students will be able to, be able to see that Dropbox folder. Um, to download stuff out of the Dropbox folder, uh, we'll go to a class. Bah, 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 bah. D2L is a little slow today. Uh, we'll go to an active class here. And you just go to the Dropbox folder. And uh, say you wanted to download all the syllabus quizzes here. Uh, you'll click on that folder, and all you got to do is click this button right here that click, uh, check marks all of them, and click download. And it'll prepare a zip file for you, and then you're going to download that file, and you can see it, I can, it's down here on the left-hand corner on my computer. Uh, it goes to different places in different computers. It'll open it on my office computer. Uh, but I like to go show it in the folder. It's going to be in my downloads folder. Uh, that's not really where I want to deal with stuff. So I'm going to cut that and go to the folder I've already created for the class. I'm going to paste it in there. Then you right click that folder and you want to hit extract all and extract it. And you'll be able to access those files. You can also ac uh, access them within the the, the the zip folder as well. It's just a little bit harder sometimes. And sometimes Microsoft Word doesn't like that. 
Uh, but there's all the files. Uh, I can go bit there and grade them or do whatever I want to them or at least confirm I got them. Um, different instructors grade things different ways. You can use the grade mark function. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not the person to do that video. Uh, but that's just basically how the Dropbox folder works. Uh, it's a neat way to have a backup for all the students. when they Once they submit their essay, they have a backup copy in there. You have proof they've submitted it. All kinds of good things happen when you use the Dropbox folder. Uh, but if you have any questions about that, uh, let me know. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.